My dream is actually uh, a dream uh, from a, a boy called Thomas, uh, who's the son of a friend of mine, he's seven years old. Thomas has all of the same worries that everybody has. He, he's worried about, you know, falling in love. He's worried about his family. He's worried about, uh, you know, playing and getting out and enjoying the sunshine. He's worried about, you know, making sure that the world is, is stable. And there's this amazing line from uh, Chuck Palahniuk, the guy who wrote Fight Club, um, saying that the, the first step when you're young and you're growing up with talent but not money uh, is to paint the pictures, to create the art and to model the kind of world you demand to live in. Uh, so I wanted to think about what kind of world Thomas is, is demanding to live in and the things that really matter to him and, and you know, he's got some big problems coming up and, and they're nothing to do with culture, they're about scarcity of water and they're about conflict and they're about jobs and economies and growth and all of those kind of really big things and, and Thomas is going to have to look at the world around him and assemble some ideas about how he's going to make it a better place than, than we have. And to me, that's what we're really doing. We're, we're basically making a world so that Thomas can look at the whole totality of culture that came before him, the history and the art and the ideas and the natural world and, and all of the creativity. And he can assemble from that a picture of a better world that he can go on to make. And that's why Europeana is, is really important to me. It's not because I love computers or scanners or, or technology or any of that. It's that a hundred years ago, Thomas would have been reading it in an encyclopedia. Thomas would have been lucky to get hold of a printed book. Uh, today, it's not a, a choice we get to make. It's not a should we or shouldn't we do this. It's, it's a moral obligation that, that if we're going to meet our duty to, to this guy and, and the six billion other this guys, then we have to do that job. That, that's, that's what we're there for. People are extraordinary. The, the, we live in a world where um, it's not really about theism or faith anymore, it's about people. And the, the biggest problems that we face are problems of, of taking responsibility for each other. They're not problems that we're going to solve by being selfish or, or just acting in our own little world. So problems like uh, the economy and the environment and um, what we're doing to the planet and all of those questions depend on people feeling connected, depends on people finding this, this fundamental connection of humanity between each other. And that, that's what culture gives you. It's, it's the stories that unite us that give us these amazing universal themes that give us a sense of who we are and of why I should care about you even though I've never met you, why I should um, protect your culture because I'm not part of your culture. It's about how we go beyond being tribal and feudal and small in our, our thinking about each other and we learn how to take responsibility for all of each other, the, the, the whole totality of, of what we're doing. The Library of Alexandria, the, the great libraries of, of classical antiquity, were nothing more or less than a, a coming together of ideas. They were saying the generations that led up to this point, these are the ideas that they had. And one of the things that's unique and, and in common amongst humans is that knowledge is incremental. We can share it and we can pass it on. And that it's a duty of each generation to pass on that knowledge in, in greater abundance and better quality than we received it and so when they built the museum and library at Alexandria they were saying this is our inheritance we're going to build on it and improve it and we're going to pass it on and the format they happened to be doing it in was was you know paper was kind of you know cuneiform and, and bits of stone tablet and clay uh, the formats that we're receiving are, are paper and digital uh, and so the this the, the job that we have to do is to bring together uh, our generation's Library of Alexandria, the, the digital equivalent, and to say, this is the knowledge that we got, this is yours, uh, you now get to go and, and build on it. So it's the, the this is bringing that material together, improving on it, and then making sure everybody in the world knows that they have a, an inalienable right to make use of it.